guys, welcome back to my channel. Tonight's video is a clothing and accessory haul. Clothing, shoes, a couple things um, that I have been loving. And I have been posting a lot on Instagram, outfits of the day and things like that. And I get so many messages about where I get them, even though I try to post everything below. So I figured, why not just make a video? And I want you guys to follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is expanding and it is so much fun taking pictures in these outfits and things like that. So if you haven't followed me there yet, please go over and follow me. The same name as I have here on YouTube, Felicia Nurse, you'll be able to find me. So anyway, let's just get started. This is coming from a whole bunch of stores. I have things from, oh my gosh, let's start, Abercrombie, I have Nordstrom, I have Walmart, I have TJ Maxx, I have Target, I have, oh my gosh, I have something from everywhere. I am, I am like a shopper that goes everywhere and then I have certain stores that I just love the most. Anyway, let's just jump into what I have and hope you guys like this video. All right guys, so I'm gonna start with jeans because I have been posting these jeans um, over the last couple days on Instagram and a lot of you have been asking me where I got them. Um, these come from Nordstrom. There's a brand called Articles of Society and they're just a skinny jean and they have just very slight distressing on them. Nothing crazy, nothing major, but guys, these jeans are the most soft fabric they're like butter and they fit so good um for reference i'm five foot four and these are size 25 which i believe is like a four so articles of society they're a little expensive but if they fit good and literally look at this they're like butter they're like butter guys the pockets are just Plain little pockets and there's the logo. Very, very small, you don't notice it. Um, but I would suggest checking these out. And again, follow me on Instagram or go check it out right now and you'll be able to see me wearing these in several pictures. So the next pair of jeans I found um, at TJ Maxx and I couldn't believe the color. I hope it's coming up true to color here. This is, let me hold this up. This is a lavender, it's coming up. I mean, you can kind of see it, there you go. It's a lavender color. And these are by Lucky Jeans and they are so soft. They almost felt a little bit like, um, like a peach skin, if that makes any sense to you. These are super comfortable. I have a picture of me wearing these. Um, these were such a score. They were so inexpensive. TJ Maxx I'm finding to be a gold mine of brand names and things like that. So um, yeah, so size four and there's really no logo or anything on the back. I wore this with a gray sweater. I wore it with white. I've worn it with black. I've literally worn these like crazy. So um, there's no distressing in these and they're just a skinny straight you know, you wear them with little booties or whatnot, but these are fantastic. So this top I got um, at Nordstrom, again, it's by the brand BP, and it is a little bit short. If you, I think I posted this um, today. This is a ribbed striped sweater. You see them all over the place, um, but it does come literally just below the belly button. Um, kind of like where a low-rise pair of jeans would sit. Um, but I love this color combination with the black gray and this chestnut color. I think it's extremely Lori. <laughs> this, th these colors scream my name. Um, and they're fantastic to wear with leggings, with jeans. I think the picture I posted today I was wearing black leggings and boots that I'm gonna show you at the end of this video. All right, so the next thing I got is from TJ Maxx and I got a ton of hits on Instagram when I was wearing this with my jeans. Um, this is a sweatshirt material, it's gray, and it's by the brand Workshop. And it has that cross detail at the bottom and the little cuffs at the sleeve. This 
little number gave me such a blow up on Instagram that I couldn't believe it. It's just a plain little gray sweatshirt, but it is so soft and comfortable. You absolutely can find this. They had tons of them. I mean, obviously you have to go to the one that I went to, but um, I'm sure they have them all over the place. But if not, look it up. It's called Workshop Republic Clothing. <laughs> I need to wear my glasses to read this stuff. But yeah, here it is, plain, and it is soft as can be. This is not a thick sweatshirt. It's very thin, and there's no, like, fleecy lining. It's just the same material. So it's very light, and I loved it um, when I wore it the other night. It was a great little, like, transition piece. Forever 21, I came across a chenille sweater. Chenille reminds me of when I was a kid. I know this is huge right now in fashion as are stripes so when I came across this sweater oh guys okay I hope this is picking up but there's a burgundy there's this olive hunter greenish color in there there you go see it a pink and this like tan color this sweater has the crew neck that has the little detail here it has the same detail at the bottom of the sleeve and the same detail at the bottom of the sweater. These are amazing. And Forever 21 sells these things for under 20 bucks. I'm just going in a random order. I'm just picking up. So as you guys know, I'm a big Target shopper. I love it there. And I came across this sweater um, in like a dark navy and a black. The black navy-ish one is still hanging in my closet. I didn't feel the need to bring them both out. But I got this in a dusty pink, and this is a chenille sweater also by A New Day. Look at this sweater, guys. It's like, do you see that? It's chenille. It's got the same rib top like that. It's got this little detail, so it's almost like it reminds me of um, like a baseball shirt kind of cut. Um, a little bit cropped, but not. It's just It just sits at the right spot. But this sweater, um, I got it in an extra small, and let's look at the tag because I haven't worn it yet, uh, $24.99. So this is a really good sweater as well. Um, really loving the chenille. I really am so soft, and now that we're moving into fall, it's just been really nice to wear them. So this next top I found at um, American Eagle in the airy section, and I was... I have a pair of camo leggings that I'm sure you guys have seen also on Instagram. And I was looking for something that will cover my butt when I wear those camo leggings because, you know, I really don't want to be walking around with my butt showing. So I was in American Eagle and I came across this sweatshirt. It is the lightest gray color, plain and simple, but really long. And it's lower or longer in the back than it is in the front. Perfect with leggings. Perfect with Adidas sneakers. This is just something that you can throw on on a Sunday, after work, what have you. It's just a great little sweater. Okay, this is a gem. When I found this, I was like, had to have it. Posted this again the other day on Instagram. Got a ton of hits on it. Lots of questions where I got it. If you are familiar with Macy's, they have um, near me a store called Macy's Backstage. And what they do is when the store itself has an item, a garment, what have you, and they only have like one or two left and they wanna like discount it and get rid of it, they move it to the third floor in the Macy's by my house and they call it Macy's Backstage. Um, I know that a lot of people have them in their area. Anyway, this is where I found this piece. This is the most adorable little poncho. Look at this. Okay, I don't know if you're gonna pick up on the color. It's kind of like a, la not a lavender, a gray, but with purple undertones. And it's kind of like a poncho. It has a fake fur hood, leather toggles with tortoise shell, um, the little piece toggles here v-neck but it has this cable stitching look at this is this not amazing and the back i'm going to lift the hood up it has the same detail straight down the back and straight on these little you know that's where you put your arms through tortoise shell button at the bottom 
where the armhole is and a nice big armhole. So definitely wear a tank or something under this if you happen to find it. The brand is called Rain and Rose. Um, it's an extra small and guys, it's got tons of room. So if you can find this online, look at it. It's amazing. Check it out. Go look for Macy's backstage. I'm, I'm sure you'll be able to find it. All right, so the next piece of clothing that I want to show you is another piece from American Eagle. Um, you know how much I love camo. They had this in two colors. One, a dark navy color, and this is the light green, and I'm only bringing one out because why bring both? But you can see both of them on my Instagram. <laughs> Here it is, a camo thermal, just a plain camo thermal, but it is light. You can see how you can see through it a little bit. It's super light. This is fantastic for layering. This is fantastic for just wearing on, you know, a warm day with just a hint of coolness in the air, under a leather jacket, what have you. It is so comfortable. You can even wear this under a vest. There's so many ways you can dress this up, dress it down. Regular length, no high-low, no nothing. Just a really cute camo thermal. I don't remember if I've ever showed you this, but Zara, you know I love Zara. I came across this shirt. Um, I thought this would be really nice for work. It's very soft and very much corporate, if that makes any sense, the feel of it. It's very rich, the fabric. Um, it's just a striped little sweater. Again, you can see the lights behind me showing through it. It's very, very light, um, but I love that that neutral tone with the black. I'm like loving browns and blacks lately together. And then I just loved how they threw in that little hint of white just at the bottom. The end of the cuff is black and it's just a great little sweater. You can wear it with black pants and pumps, boots, jeans, whatever. I've worn this to death already. I <laughs> love it. All right, so the next thing I got, um, Abercrombie. You guys know if you watch any kind of style bloggers or anybody on Instagram, you're probably seeing a ton of the Sherpa um, pullovers and things like that. Well, I found one. Excuse me, I have to sneeze. <coughs> Sorry. I found one at Abercrombie that I love, and I wear this all the time, especially on the weekend. Um, again, Abercrombie, this is it. This is their Sherpa. It's a pullover with this little um, satin, little bit of a lining on the collar. It's got this, the satin lining on the pockets. It doesn't have satin on the bottom, but it does have a little bit of a cuff. And this is so cool. The inside, I'm going to zoom in on this. Hold on. Let me take the hanger off so I can show you. The inside of this can you see that? There you go. It's kind of like a man's, you know, like those basketball shorts kind of lining. So you're not going to sweat to death in this thing because this thing is so warm. But it's nice to have um, a smooth and less clumpy, thick lining. I just love it. And um, they had this in a lot of colors. I had it in olive green. I just preferred this like mauve pink tone. I love it. Um, that's what it looks like close up. It is so cozy. It's like a blanket. So I know they're on sale right now. I can't remember what I paid for it, um, but I believe they're on sale right now. And they have, again, they have so many colors. I was in Walmart not long ago and they had, you know, like the fake Sherpa little um, pullovers and I saw this there and I had to have it and it was 10 bucks. How cute! Oh, it is a little short though, I have to say. So um, it just comes to like the top of where my jeans are, but it has, you know, the front pocket here goes all the way to the other side. <laughs> it's so cute and it has a hood. So I was thinking, for Halloween when I go to the door and hand out the candy or whatever, I'm just gonna wear this, a pair of black pants and maybe make my face look like a skull, I don't know. But it's so cute, I would just wear this anytime, on a weekend, whatever, 10 bucks, you can't go wrong. All right guys, the next thing I got, I only have a few more things left. Um, and this is a collective haul, this wasn't all in one day, this is just over the course of like the last two months. Um, this is from Express. I love that store to death. 
And this is a leopard print little, I guess you would call it sweatshirt. I don't know. It is sweatshirt material. And the lining though is like a furry, here, let me see if I can show you. It's got like that furry fleece inside. It has a tie at the bottom so you can gather it up and tie it. You could wear this casually, you could dress it up. I think I wore this with black leggings and boots, um, similar to this color here, but you legit could wear this any way you'd like, but it's so comfortable. I would size up on this if you um, like to feel a little more cozy. I did, this is a size small, just a really cute, you could dress that up or down. You could wear that to work. You could wear it to a ball game. All right. Here's a little sporty thing because you guys know I like that kind of stuff too. <laughs> and I am just an Adidas hog. I love their stuff. I think it's made very well. Anyway, I found this at Kohl's, believe it or not. It's an extra small, but it's oversized. So I would size down. So if you're a small, get an extra small. Here it is. Look at how cute this shirt is. It's just a long sleeve jersey knit Adidas and it has that purple periwinkle color that I love. That's it. It's just a long shirt. This is also cute with leggings and sneakers, a little ball cap for the weekend. Um, and guys, Kohl's lets you use Kohl's cash. If you have Kohl's and you buy a certain amount during a certain period of time, they give you Kohl's cash. And that is where I use, that is what I use to buy things from there that are kind of pricey. Adidas is a little bit expensive. Um, the sweatshirt was like 50, or the shirt was like $50, which I wouldn't pay regular price for that. So it was on sale. I used my Kohl's cash, probably came to less than 20 bucks. This is the find of the century. When I was at that Macy's backstage store, I happened to be looking for a leather jacket and couldn't find one. And lo and behold, of course, ready when you're about to leave, boom, my eyes went to this rack and I see Vince Camuto leather jacket. And I'm like, that's gonna be like off the hook expensive. And it was 500 and something dollars. It was close to $600. I cannot afford that for a jacket. But we're at the Macy's backstage store and I'm like, wonder what the tag says, 99 bucks. I kid you not. They had one left in an extra small and a small. So I wound up with the small, okay? This is a Vince Camuto leather jacket. There she is. It is gorgeous. I want to show you some of the detail. It has legit <laughs> cut out leather braided. This is just cut out from the leather and like woven in. I don't know what they did. Then they have the same thing down the arm and look at the back. It's got all these nice panels. The sleeve has a zipper at the bottom. This jacket it was almost $600, guys. I got it for 99 bucks. What? Look at this jacket. It fits so nice. So if you have a Macy's backstage and I'm not sponsored, run. Because they have lots of leather jackets on sale for great prices. Oh my God, hold on, my dog's <laughs> at the window because Jess is home. So I just wanted to show you this. And then another thing I wanna show you, oh my God, Target, guys, Universal Thread. Look at these shoes. I, I am like so into leopard, but all of a sudden now, this is coming into play. I don't know. You tell me in the comments below what you think. Look at them. Ah! They're like fake snake skin, and they have, you know, that like fabric there, so it stretches. And then it has these little tiny silver studs all around the shoes. So I don't know what you guys think of this, but I would love to hear your reaction. So leave a comment below. So those are fun. And I kind of cut that short because Kevin just came home, but I have the feeling that I'm going to be wearing these with like either black, really skinny jeans or like black leggings and like a big oversized sweater or something like that. But again, this is what they look like and they are called Luna in the color gray. I got a size eight because that's all they had. I would have preferred it in a seven. 
They do run, I say, a little big because they feel a little big on me, but here's the label. Should you want to see it, screenshot it. There you go. So I don't know. I don't know what they're going to look like, off, but I thought they were really cute. The next pair of shoes I want to show you are boots. These are also from Target, and wow, look at these boots. Brown high boots. This is the pair of boots I wore in that Instagram picture that I was telling you about with that striped shirt from Nordstrom. These are awesome. They have a zipper that go all the way down. The heel is nice and low and they are so soft and such a rich color. Um, I hope this is picking up. It, there it is. It's more like of um, a warm sable color and super, super soft. And I love this detail that goes all the way up and it fits really nice and it also has like a little notch here see see how it goes up on both ends so yeah nothing on the back just plain super cute you can wear this with dresses leggings jeans anything you want um two more things guys one let's start off with this lipstick because i get asked on the daily what lipstick i'm wearing and this comes from cvs <laughs> of all places it is by Maybelline and it is called Vivid Hot Lacquer and the color is number 60 in the color Tease. Here it is. This is what it looks like. Doe, doe foot applicator. And it is such a nice color. It goes on and it feels very... Um, very non-goopy. It, it almost feels like it'll wipe away in two seconds. But the trick with these is if you leave them on for like a minute or two, it dries on just like how a, lip, a liquid lipstick would be. And it literally lasts like hours. So I would definitely recommend this Vivid Hot Lacquer by Maybelline in the color Tease. I love it. It's very nude. It's the lightest one they have. Of course, that's why I was drawn to it. <laughs> Thanks, Kev. So the last thing I got is a winter hat. I fell in love with this. This is from Target, again, by Universal Thread. It's um, a fake fur pom-pom hat, and it's all colors of gray. It has a little black at the bottom of this pom-pom, and um, it's like a one-size-fits-all deal. How cute is this hat, guys? It's got, you know, it's got some room here. I have a small head, but it's kind of like beanie style, which I kind of like. I don't know. I don't really like a hat that's like that. I kind of like it droopy. Thanks, Paisley. What do you guys think? You like this? Well, here it is. Let me know. I kept the tag on it just in case you guys didn't like it, but I thought it was really cool, and I am just loving this highlight. I'm going to have to do a makeup tutorial pretty soon because that's another question that I get a lot. Uh, what kind of highlighter am I using lately? But um, how cute is this hat? So, yeah. That's my haul. I hope you guys loved it. And if you have any questions, leave them below. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I got to get better at these videos. But anyway, thank you for joining me. Thanks for sticking around. I love you all. And I will see you in my next video. Have a great night, everybody.